I will share this with you folks, for real. Uh, when I did start doing comedy uh, a number of years ago, I did get sick for real, uh, to the point where I'm lucky to be here. I had something called viral cardiomyopathy, ended up with an enlarged heart, congestive heart failure, AFib, had heart surgery twice in the last seven years. All true. And the reason why I share it, thank you, one person. Yeah. <laughs> no. The reason why I share this is I am convinced that without a good sense of humor, I would have not made it. I'm convinced that without laughing in my darkest moments, I would not be standing here. So this is the part you clap. That's where you clap there, yes. Yes. Anybody in here, if you've had a, uh, either a sickness yourself or a loved one, you know when it gets dark and depressing, you laugh at the craziest moments. Uh, for me, what happened is I had a heart surgery. Uh, they implanted something called an ICD, which is a fancy pacemaker. Have you ever seen it on a person? Located under the collarbone. You can see mine underneath my skin. And I'll be honest, after surgery, I was terrified. I did not want to look at this part of my body. But when I did, I had to laugh because it looks like there's a Pepperidge Farm Milano cookie trapped underneath <laughs> my skin right here. That's what they make it look like for some reason. So there was a guy at the gym, he saw me without my shirt in the locker room and he got confused. He was like, hey bro, I don't know how to tell you this. I think you ate that cookie wrong. Is that... It's not supposed to be there. It is an amazing thing though, because uh, if I have an arrhythmia, it'll figure it out and it'll shock me back into rhythm. But the doctors, they don't call it shocking you back into rhythm. They give it a medical term and they call it delivering therapy. Which no. No, it, it feels like you got kicked in the chest by a horse and a doctor has the balls to look you in the eye and call it delivering therapy. When he does, it just makes me want to punch him right in his nose and be like, well, that's a facial massage then, smart guy. <laughs> for playing that game. It's ridiculous. I don't want to go to another doctor and have him play a same switcheroo on me, you know? I walk in and they're like, relax, Steve, it's not a colonoscopy today. <laughs> uh, we're just going to get in there and tickle your butthole for like <laughs> a few hours. If you feel any pressure, that's a feather. <laughs> I'm glad we're laughing. <laughs> you have to laugh if you spend any time in a hospital. It is depressing. Seriously, what sent me over the edge is when I had my ICD implanted, they also did a procedure called an ablation, and for that, they had to give me a, a shave downtown. Yeah, and I had been growing it out at the time. So. <laughs> it was a bummer, you know? Switching up my looks for the ladies. So here's the thing, like, you're in surgery, and I come out, and then I look, and they had given me the shave on the sides, but they left a little part in the middle. And you're just like, connect the shave, you assholes. Like, was there a copay I didn't know about? There was. There was. So I'm glad we're laughing. People always ask me, Steve, were you scared when this happened? And I was like, yeah, because there's all these things you got to look out for. And then even the little things freak you out. Like, I had to watch how much potassium is in my diet. Like, bananas, seriously? That's what I have to watch out for now? How'd Steve die? Too many nanners. <laughs> yeah, the obituary said it was a short yet courageous battle with a loaf of banana bread, so. Get up for that guy. Life is looking up. I'm starting to date again now for this hard thing. For a while, I wasn't doing that, but now starting to date and finding it's, it's weird because I have this heart problem. I want to be honest with the ladies. I want to tell them what's up, but I don't know how to do it. So I thought I'd go on the internet and I would do my internet posting and that would bring in the ladies. But I am bad at marketing. <laughs> yeah. Heart patient comedian with a low credit score. <laughs> Seeks a sugar mama who knows CPR. <laughs> mm. Mm. Striking out. But a girl has to know, a lady has to know, we could be out one night, fancy dinner, I could go face down into my food, 10 seconds later, zzz, 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 and I'm back. <laughs> Tiramisu. <laughs> have to warn her, be like, look, that could happen. If it does, order a bottle of red wine, sit back and enjoy the show. 
And she'd go home later and call a friend, be like, how was your date with Steve? She'd be like, well, did this pretty weird magic trick. <laughs> At the end of dinner where he appeared to die in his food. Then he came back to life. He's spontaneous. I like him. <laughs> I know the, the ladies are also thinking, Steve, if I were to ever go home and sleep with you, is that thing going to go off and shock me? Only if you want it to. Hey, if you want to work hard and ride the lightning, that's your business, lady. That's not me. You want to hop on old Sparky for a spin? I'm not going to judge you. We'll just deliver some therapy and send you home like a gentleman. All right, everybody. I'm Steve Harmon. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas, everybody.